Hello, my name is Harishina, and this video is about ion propulsion, more specifically, ion engines. This is the NSDAR engine, that NASA tested for its deep space one back in the 90s. The father of ion propulsion is Konstantin Tsiolkovsky because he was the first to mention the idea in 1911. Robert H. Goddard was the first person to seriously consider electric propulsion. Goddard also did the first experiments with ion propulsion in 1916. The first working ion thrust was built by Harold R. Kaufman in 1959, using mercury as its fuel. Chemical engines have a low specific impulse, which is the change of momentum gained from the 1 kg weight of propellant, as you can see here. Ion engines, however, have a high specific impulse, and are thus more efficient. Ion engines as usually use xenon gas. The gas is ionized by bombarding it with electrons. The positively charged then diffuse through the positive grid, and enter the potential difference between the positive and negative grids. The potential difference accelerates the ions to a high velocity, which creates thrust as it leaves the engine. An electron emitter on the top of the engine neutralizes the ion beam to prevent charge buildup. Ion engines create very little thrust, and must maintain continuous thrust for a long time, in order to make a spacecraft get any significant distance. The engines that NASA uses have been tested for 3.5 years of continuous thrust at full power, Collision of ions with the charged grids causes erosion, and will lead to eventual failure. NASA's new Dawn spacecraft, which was launched in 2007, is on a mission to explore the dwarf planet Sears and the asteroid Vesta to take it such a far distance. It will use three NSDAR rockets that will be used one at a time in order to travel in a long spiral to get to its destinations. Fun fact! Ion engines also make several appearances in Star Wars. The TIE Fighters used win ion engines to zip around the galaxy destroying whatever they were ordered to. However, these engines are very advanced, because they are able to pick up speed very quickly, which is the main problem of our current ion thrusters. Currently, there is a mission planned to fly to Mercury in 2015. And NASA has been working on a stronger ion thruster since 2011. The end.